Good day everyone, today we will be discussing the truth table, proving using replacement rule and conditional proof on the course discrete method. The first part of our tutorial is about the truth table of different logical connectives. First is the negation. Let P be a proposition. The statement it is not the case that P is called the negation of P, denoted by this symbol. The truth table is presented. As you can see, as we negate P, the output would be its inverse or its complement. The next connective is the conjunction. Let P and Q be propositions. The proposition P and Q is denoted by the symbol. The truth table is presented. As you can see, the output will be true only if both statements are true, otherwise false. Next is the disjunction. Let P and Q be propositions. The proposition P or Q is denoted by this symbol. It is possible for this proposition or statement to be false if and only if both statements are false. Otherwise, we will get a true value. Next is the exclusive OR. Let P and Q be propositions. And the exclusive OR of P and Q is represented by the symbol. We will get a false value if both statements are false or both statements are true. Otherwise, we would get a true value. Next is the implication. Let P and Q be propositions. The proposition P then Q is denoted by this symbol. This means that P implies Q. We will only get a false value if P as the premise will get a true value and Q as the conclusion will have a false value. Otherwise, the output will be true. The last logical connective is a double implication. Let P and Q be propositions. The proposition P if and only if Q is denoted by this symbol. As you can see, the truth table of the double implication is the inverse of the truth table of the exclusive or, wherein we could get a true value if both statements are false or both statements are true. Otherwise, the output would be false. Another important thing that we must know is knowing the precedence of connectives. With this, you will be able to determine which comes first when all of these operators are present. As you can see, the negation operator has a higher precedence over other operators. This means that if all of them are present at the same time, we will first evaluate the negation operator followed by end, or, implication, and double implication. For example, we have this statement, P and Q or R. First, we must check the table of the precedence of the connectives. And, as a higher precedence over or which means that we must evaluate first the end statement before the disjunction. Next example is P implies Q or R. We see an implication and an OR operator. We again check the order of precedence and determine which has a higher precedence over another. With this, we could see that OR as a higher precedence than implication. When close the OR operator with a parenthesis, 
to show that it is a dominant connective over implication. The last example is the statement P and Q or R and G. We already know that the end operator has higher precedence over the OR. So we must enclose the premises with an end operator with a parenthesis before evaluating the equation using the OR operator. To fully understand the purpose of the precedence of operation, let us apply it in an equation. The example shows the equation using 1 and 0. Problem number 1. 1 and 0 or 0 is equal to. First, you must identify which precedence is higher. The end or the or. We look into the table of precedence and know that the end operator has higher precedence over the or. So first, you must evaluate this part before going to this part. So 1 and 0 is a conjunction. Let's look at the truth table, which is the value of P and Q. 1 and 0 is equal to 0. So, after evaluating this expression, we would get a value of 0. We will use the next operator, 0 or 0 is equal to, we would then look at the truth table of the disjunction. 0 or 0 is equal to 0. So the final answer is 0. Next question, 1 implies 0 or 1. We look at the table of precedence of connectives. And we will see that the OR operator has higher precedence over the implication. So first, we must evaluate this part. We look at the truth table of the disjunction. Zero or one is equivalent to one. So the next statement will be equal to one implies one. And we look at the implication to the table. 1 implies 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the final answer is 1. The last example is 1 and 0, or 0 and 1. We already know that the end operator has higher precedence over the odd. So first, we must evaluate this operator before proceeding to the disjunction operator. 1 and 0 is equal to 0. 0 and 1 is equal to 0. 0 and 0 is equal to 0. So the final answer is 0. This ends the first part of our tutorial wherein we learn how to use the truth table and to fully understand how the precedence of operation affects our statement. Thank you.